this is uh, on the perfect shape. Now I will solder it. And I don't have too much solder here. <coughs> so this is my box of uh, scrapped solder that I scrapped along the ears. And uh, this is how I'm uh, cutting it. Putting it there. And voila, I have, what the fuck is this? I have a, a new blob of solder there, which I will use for preparing this little pad here. And this is applying a little bit of uh, what is called actually I will use the smaller blob because it is enough and it's perfect as you can see so right now it's prepared this will definitely not go away like uh, like the glued one it, it is heavy duty pad uh, this guy is, is very wide and now I'll have to insert it there to make some holes and uh, to bend it underneath and re uh, and re Uh, glue, re glue again that part. So I decided uh, it's not that big of a deal, and probably I can make it on camera here. This little uh, incision, <laughs> you know. Ah, and the entire board. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I kind of uh, put uh, too much pressure on it. Ah. Yeah, it's not uh, desirable, but it happens to add uh, more functionality to, to your board, like in my case. No, yeah, I really had to to split it up <coughs> I really had to split it up because and now hopefully I can bend it like this with my hand oh excellent and now when I'm I'm doing it with this I have the certainty it's there forever. So this is absolutely an excellent there. Well, my glue to glue back what it was to make it as it was before, like before. Put it. Uh, like this a little bit correct correct on both sides make it it like this and voila it's back as new and now let's put some uh, uh, say it's from a, a cigarette package uh, the board from Davidov uh, a package a very old package that I had 
lying around. Yeah, the thing is that I didn't put that much uh, glue, and that's why it uh, got out. But uh, probably it's uh, it's my luck mm, to have it unglued that easily. Okay, now it's good because. I could repair uh, this uh, thing very easily. Well, pretty much as easy as possible. Okay. Okay. Now it's good. Now it is good. So, <laughs> nobody knows what it was before, how shitty it was before. Let me make that sign more clear, like that. Okay. Correct. Okay, so... I wasn't uh, sure how if I will uh, rupture the, the cardboard, but it wasn't ruptured at all. So now it's extremely stable. What I have there is is having no dying. Is <laughs> is not dying very easily, like it was before. Hopefully the the. Um, the glue is uh, is hardened right now, good enough, but is on the other side of the things that glue, and not on the pad itself. I mean, like it was before, which was stupid, but I didn't really thought about it. But uh, I'm always having a second. Uh, a second plan, an es escaping plan. So you see how is trying to de to deglue to get to drag out the the, the pad from the glue, but is a, a large area of glue right now, and um, it's fine. Now it's fine. It is more than fine. All right, so this guy here. Well, a little problem in the paradise, you know, as you can see the, um, the sun is coming out in the morning because I like to do my job uh, uh, in the night. In the night, in the night. They like my, <coughs> my voice is splendid. So this is it. Uh, Pretty much. All right, all right. Let me close because I have a ton of light here. It's, uh, hmm. Yeah, this this board is a bit uh, flimsy. It's uh, you can do it like this. <laughs> from 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 having only one uh, screw and is pivoting a little bit, but it's fine. But but not in the other di direction, only in this direction. Which will can be a, a thing. So this is it. This is how... Uh, <coughs> yeah, do you like it? Nice, huh? <laughs> I really like this uh, ex extensible uh, user board buttons button button board all right the moment of truth hmm I will have to make a test uh, ground first I'll, I'll have to make some tests right now but I will uh, come back <coughs> I'll come back 
and uh, show you the results. If something will get in flames, hopefully not. Um, right now is very. This is the part that is the most difficult for me uh, when I'm finally testing it, and I'm really not that sure how everything will behave. Not electronically. Electronically, everything will will work actually. But um, uh, this guy, how it is extremely uh, powerful. That's why. That's the. That's why I'm. I am afraid of some dangerous uh, results because it is very, very, very powerful. Um, well, no. But for this instrument, for this uh, apparatus that I have here. It's way too, <laughs> way too powerful, and uh, it can burst something in flames. I'm not sure what exactly. Probably the plastic inside or the cardboard here. I really hope not. But uh, let me do the test first, and uh, we will see <sighs> in a second. Okay, I was uh, very put on the tests. I was already trying to make the tests and I was turning the knobs and everything but I I remembered well I looked actually I looked uh, here and this potentiometer doesn't have the links the wires so, to the pads so <laughs> I completely I completely miss this uh, this part, part. And right now what I'm doing is exactly this. I'll put the wires. I'll put I will put some wires to this uh I'll leave them a bit more longer. Mm -hmm. Like this. Now I'm thinking out loud with you seeing me how I'm doing it. Uh, it's important so from here so what I have where is my trusty knife here it is I have these two pins linked together to this pad and only one pin the last pin here to this pad pretty much and the two of them uh, well hmm I could put a link. I, I was thinking right now to use two wires for these two pins to link it there. But I can link directly here, put a little link and on, drag only one wire there. And then another wire there. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, it's good enough. Good. I can barely see it. This is one wire there, and this is the second. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm testing it by dragging it a little bit. I'm doing it all the time. Excellent. I think this is it. The last two wires, this guy. I like it. I like it. All right, this is it for this uh, part. Alright, and I made the test and it's working. I can show you very quickly right now. And you can hear it. There is the LED, the power LED. And, uh, and uh, let me. Hopefully, I can do it like this. I ah, I put it to minimum. And right now. And you can hear it. The sound is changing. And it is indeed
you can see some redness there you can see the coil it's very warm it's not that hot I didn't put it to maximum it's uh, somewhere in the middle and uh, it is definitely yeah you see it's having some like jumps is jumping up uh, you can uh, you can see it from this point as well now it's pointing like like this but if it's vertical in the middle it's quite off and from vertical to lower side pointing this until the vertical this half of the uh, travel is keeping the coil off actually but uh, from uh, here to here is getting extremely hot extremely quickly I didn't put it to maximum to here because I'm afraid of uh, burning something and I don't want to burn anything yet I will probably test it uh, for full power and this is not at maximum this is maximum actually it's kind of in the middle you see from here to here so this is vertically in the middle as well as this one which is doing nothing right now <laughs> even if it's on vertical uh, position in the middle but uh, if I'm touch if I'm turning it more like this you can see it I can feel the warm air already I like it I like it's I like it being uh, slow moving now is warm to hot it's not hot but is warm warm hot uh, and uh, huh? can you see it da, 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 da. It's not uh, and the air is like a fart <laughs> it's not very uh, you know the air is like like a breeze like a very slow blah, 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 you know it's, uh, even even if it's uh, on maximum because uh, every, uh, all this uh, arrangement that I have here is uh, <laughs> leaking everywhere <laughs> the air is leaking uh, but uh, uh, because I have the leaking air uh, and I close it by mistake and I unplug it here one second uh, all right you see how quickly how quickly everything is put together let me uh, close it off to let it cool so uh, uh, if I'm putting my hand in the back here or on the sides here I can feel the air actually I can show you with my <laughs> yeah you see you see a little so this is how it's straight yeah you see now now it's bending you can see so there are leakage of air but uh, the cool thing is the cool thing is that if I'm keeping my hand here nothing uh, warm uh, or hot air is coming back so it's a good sign actually only from the front side is the air hot air coming so nothing is going back from from this part to potentially melt or uh, overheat of from this side from this side actually from this part uh, do you see the the contacts there are, there is 220 volts 
directly on the uh, the the contacts of the the heating wire, and so it's somewhere here in this position. It's it's the contact of the coil and a little bit longer and from here to here is the coil actually but until here like like a good portion is plastic which I melted it manually and made that uh, you see that thing there it's made by me <laughs> by me melting the plastic and uh, making it happen, making it possible to connect these weird shapes. Uh, and uh, that's the, the problem. Uh, I, uh, something else I, I, I observed in my testings before. Uh, now it's completely off. It's uh, down to, to this position. It's pointing in that position. It's completely off. It's not even on, in the middle here, in on the vertical axis. Uh, one thing I observed: uh, this is getting very, very hot. Uh, the gypsum, the gypsum is extremely hot. Uh, and uh, this metal, uh, like uh, sheet, this uh, armature, metal armature, is getting. Um, quite hot, not warm, but more than warm, you know, hot. And uh, it's not really a dangerous thing for the um, the wood, uh, because by themselves are like heat sink, you know, uh, the the metal is like a heat sink, some some in some degree, and. Uh, yeah, that's my observation so far. And I put my fingers inside there to to hit to to feel the heat uh, and to test the heat. And um, it's it's exactly as uh, the the co the length of the heating wire is. Uh, probably a little bit more inside, a little bit, not that much, because a lot of uh, air is pushing the heat. Uh, through this side which is quite good I uh, uh, the next thing to do uh, the plan uh, the continuation of this is to add um, a scale grad gradation scale uh, probably I will make it by hand on paper and stick it and then I will uh, actually make it on my computer and print it and stick it again here uh, as definitive and then some buttons and uh, I'm thinking with a needle a needle that will point that needle you know uh, when I will turn the, uh, the, the button and I will have to make myself the buttons as you can clearly see they are different uh, diameters uh, and also this one is having a taper here, a straight uh, 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 area. And um, yeah, I have to 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 make special buttons, pretty much, and uh, and also with a needle on that. Um, piece of paper grad with gradation and pointing and also coloring probably making some color uh, areas where is the safe area and where is the hot uh, area and uh, where is the speed and everything uh, speed of the motor <sighs> the only the only uh, most problematic uh, the, the issue that I have right now is that I cannot see the motor uh, how fast it's spinning because it's it's there inside and I, you cannot see it. So I really need uh, well I we have this. Uh, LED that is telling us uh, 
uh, the intensity of the circuit. Uh, but uh, it's uh, not that great. I really don't uh, like it that much. It's good. That is something. Probably I will have to add this LED LED from the board there. I will have to drag it here on the on this board, on this panel, user panel here, somewhere. I'm not sure where. But until I will uh, bring uh, that LED, I'm thinking, uh, and also, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry for jumping from idea to idea. I want to to make a, a way of of showing the spinning the speed of the motor somewhere somehow and also the intensity of the coil like uh, multiple LEDs LEDs that are getting hot 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 telling me exactly what is going on and telling me exactly what is going on as the speed and also as the uh, heat uh, some t uh, temperature uh, uh, probe and here some uh, a laser uh, or a beam of light uh, with a photodiode between the uh, the spinning uh, pallets of the motor of the fan uh, something that will give me the exact uh, number of rotations of the speed and also the the heat of the the coil so yes uh, pretty much this this uh, and this will be the most difficult part uh, of the project I didn't think of anything uh, yet uh, so until now I didn't practically use it for anything I just made uh, the tests if if the if the heating uh, works if the uh, uh, air is blowing how is blowing I kind of take it easy and take it slowly because uh, I don't want burst of fires uh, here <laughs> and uh, I, I am taking it easy and uh, I am very precautious and um, theoretically uh, is looking fine is looking good is behaving okay i really like it it's very slow it's very uh like a fart <laughs> the, the speed of the air is exactly like a speed of a fart <laughs> it's it's really 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 slow it doesn't blow that much uh but uh, uh but i like it uh it's uh, my creation so of course i like it it's my baby <laughs> And uh, hmm, uh, pretty much these are the upgrades. And how to actually visualize the spinning and the heating here uh, on the board beside that uh, gra graduation gradation, uh, that uh, paper gradation beside that, actually uh, real time uh, to see the real time. Uh, heating and real-time spinning to see it somewhere here ideally with some numbers that are mm, updating uh, automatically I didn't uh, think on anything yet I am glad I reached this point which is uh, practical yet this is practical machine right now in this in this prototyping stage but practical, I didn't actually put it to work. I will make some tests uh, to see if I can melt some plastic and also solder. That's uh, the main thing. And uh, yes, pretty much that's it for this part. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you with my next uh, update. Uh, this is how I close it. I leave it to cool down. It's, it's taking a lot of time to cool down actually because everything is heating up very strongly okay so this is it
And uh, thank you very much. And uh, see you later. Uh, see you to the next one. <laughs> ah, uh, what is new right now? Uh, I uh, I've added uh, this uh, this little um, indicators, uh, indicator circles, and uh, I have to position this little line here in the middle. And I made this little button here that uh, is from plastic, this uh, pile of plastic. And uh, 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 well, b before uh, I w we will cover the button, how to make a button uh, in a second. Uh, but uh, let me put this back here. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see <laughs> how cool it is. So uh, I've made the tests with it, and as a principle, as a, uh, um, how it's called, as a prototype, as a prototype, and as a principle, it is working. But <laughs> it is a bit far from practical uh, uses uh, the the wind wind the the flow of the air is too low is like i said before is like a fart uh, it's not that strong and uh, that's the probably the only problem that it has uh, the the flow of the air the, it doesn't have a turbine it is having a fun, which that uh, and a lot of uh, holes uh, that the air escapes uh, until it reaches to go out through this port, uh, through this frontal port is uh, the air is, is escaping through the back uh, in multiple locations, which uh, which is not uh, really. It's not really, really, really optimized at all. But as a principle, all the electronics are fine, are working quite good. Uh, this is an odd uh, thing here. I have to start it from here, actually, not from zero here. Uh, from here is starting to warm up, and then I have to to get it back to a safe position between this point to this point but this point here is almost off and uh, the okay green line uh, green area is also uh, off totally off uh, the the, co the coil uh, temperature this is the temperature as you can see here uh, degrees celsius <laughs> because i am a european and uh, but uh, and this is the speed control actually i made it 0 150 and then 25 75 and then i changed my mind and i put the 10 uh from 10 to 10 uh and uh, it's it is how it is right now uh, but this is uh, and here is too hot uh, here is too uh, in the red area is way too hot is uh, I believe my um, my coil my heating coil uh, is uh, is for a device that is uh, probably it is not made for 240 volts it's it can operate at 240 volts but uh, in pulses in uh, 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 in a pulse on and then uh, rapidly uh, another pulse off and this way yes uh, I did test it actually at 220 and I took out the plug from the from the extension cord I don't know how to call it uh, and um, extension socket actually is that uh, and uh, I, I, I put it I plug it in I plug it out like that because I was looking on the um, on the coil but that was uh, in the testing when it wasn't assembled here 
when I was having in, in my hand and uh, I was literally looking at it and I was seeing a, not red but yellow it uh, almost white it, uh, it was it, too intense extremely intense if I was leaving it plugged in so that's uh, my my belief this uh, coil that I have here uh, is not really for 240 volts it's a bit uh, it's for a device or, or a it's a technology of using it's it's a way of using it is not directly you plug it in uh, plug it in and leave it there uh, plug it in it is is based on pulsating uh, voltage pretty much uh, and um, oscillating voltage or something I, but the oscillation is not for uh, from the mains 50 hertz it's like one hertz or one per second or mm, actually one hertz is one per second <laughs> uh, or, or uh, more seconds until is uh, you know uh, staying on then off it's it's a balance that uh, you I have to experiment on that those devices that are using it uh, are so what I'm doing here is not even close to what is designed for that's the the point that I want to make so hard <laughs> uh, another upgrade I, I really have to make is to secure all this uh, exposure to to electricity uh, to electrocution uh, because uh, it is uh, here and here and now it's turned off, it's it plugged off uh, actually, it's plugged off. So uh, here and here uh, are the mains and from here to there is the... Um, so from here to here is the coil as as you can see, heat coil, output, <laughs> output of this uh, board. And uh, these uh, brown wires are, are the, the wires that are going to the coil. And I have to isolate, I have to make little boxes, like, like this box that I did here for the transformer. And that's in the plan, next. Uh, just to, to, oh, to ensure, ensure uh, a stupid, uh, safe protection, you know, for, for stupidity. Because someone who doesn't know how to operate this thing, like my father, or like me, after a couple of years, <laughs> uh, when I will just put, uh, instead of putting my fingers here on the knobs, I will put uh, my fingers here in the mines. <laughs> so that's not good. Uh, that's the problem with it, uh, basically. That's what I want to say uh, about this part. Um, that's it. Uh, it's a principle uh, or educational maybe uh, well for me it was uh, but f for others as well why not unfortunately is not very extremely pra practical uh, maybe in time I will find a specific uh, thing that is good for hopefully I really hope I will find something that is good for and transform it into a practical device but until then is just a theory uh, a prototype uh, something a demonstration uh, so this is a demonstration that uh, it can be made at home in a poor environment like I am uh, yeah uh, technologically semi poor, uh, poor. <laughs> and uh, also money <laughs> No, absolutely no kind of money for 10 years so yeah but uh, I was happy I was fine uh, in this period without any kind of money and, and I understand this capitalism it's okay it's fine so yes uh, next I will talk about uh, how to make a plastic knob knob like this guy that I did here like this guy and I used the uh, uh, screw here 
Kind of. Probably. Aha! There! Yeah, you can see the threads from this, uh, from this uh, screw here. So I pretty much <laughs> used that screw and uh, I uh, tested here. It, it cracked, actually it cracked in two places. But then I covered those cracks directly on this uh, knob. Uh, because it's a crack, it's not that much of an area of uh, melting something important like the plastic that we have here on this uh, real uh, knob and uh, after that I just uh, put more uh, more plastic and uh, create this little uh, pointer here and also I have added it, it, this is not melted this is cut from this uh, little bit of plastic, I cut a little line from it. And uh, they are different uh, types of plastic, and they don't mix at all. They actually repel. Uh, they they oppose. And uh, uh, this uh, white uh, plastic that I used is PP five. And. Uh, um, the blue one is uh, P, HDPE uh, 02, and uh, they don't act they don't mix at all. But this PP, uh, the PP05, uh, is actually extremely. I am, I personally I am very extremely comfortable um, working and melting it. It's uh, flowing. It's flowing. Uh, like uh, honey and uh, almost like a, a viscous substance a liquid liquid very viscous uh, uh, very big viscosity but uh, but liquid enough to 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 get into the finest cracks like we have here on the the thread here uh, is 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 uh, liquid enough to 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 actually actually em not emulate uh, get on between the the cracks there and and, and make a negative pro pretty much and uh, yeah uh, and then uh, the the blue one uh, I just uh, I just make a, a hole with the with the iron uh, uh, heat heat iron and uh, and then after I made the hole uh, a longitudinal hole like that I, I've, I've inserted that little line of blue line there and I didn't melt it at all that blue line is not melted at all I struggle not to mel melt it, it and then I came from outside uh, with the white plastic and uh, and uh, pile piled up and uh, uh, encased encased that uh, blue line, which is not perfectly uh, on the middle, but it's uh, it's good enough to point to show me that's the the direction. That's the you know it's not is not to to millimeter uh, or or to nanometer uh, precision and it, it doesn't have to be uh, and it, it's enough just to, to show me yeah that's a uh, color thing there it's a pointer it's pointing me in which direction i'm turning this knob and also the the stick the the, the little pointer bigger pointer here the actual pointer <laughs> yeah it's a uh, uh, I will show you next how to make one actually and uh, for for the second one and let's hope uh, it will be uh, fast enough <laughs> it took me some time actually for uh, part thank you very much and see you later alligator